All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our weekly Team Passion Zoom call. Super excited for tonight's chat. It is February 8th already here. So exciting, exciting January. Everybody kind of got back in the swing of things after the holidays and pulled in some really good success club numbers. So just keep that momentum going into February. I hope you had a chance to listen to the national wake up call today with David Atkins. It was very good. I talked about, he talked a lot about taking ownership for your business and that is huge. It's something I try to convey a lot to you guys that, you know, you're the only one that can make this business work. You're the only one that can decide each day whether you're going to get to work or whether you're going to let the TV take over or let excuses take over, but you have to know that it's your responsibility and it's in your hands. And what better way to kick that off even further than with um, Sonia tonight? I'm super excited to have Sonia speak to us. I asked her um, a couple weeks ago if she would speak on this topic because I see her a lot at different events. I, I see her posting, um, doing just different types of vendor fairs. And I know that is a great way for you to build a list. And um, Sonia started in the summer and she became a success starter all three months. So she has her free ticket heading to Summit this summer. And she she comes to all the when she can she I think she missed the last one but she comes to all the monthly team passion meetings and she's always recognized for all her amazing work and I love her work ethic she is one of those coaches that you know she's not she's way down in the downline but I've just had the pleasure to just be watching her and she's one of those coaches just like David Atkins was talking about today she owns this business she takes full responsibility for this business and she just does the work. She just shows up every day in her Beachbody business no matter what's going on in her life and her in her other job, you know, whatever is happening, she shows up every single day consistently and that just it's paying off huge. She is heading into one star qualifying very soon here and it's just a pleasure to watch her because like I said, she's one of those coaches that just does it. I, we don't ever hear excuses from her. You know, she just does what she needs to do. So really excited, Sonia, to have you share tonight with us. Let me unmute you here for you to, um, you know, just share, share your story, share a little bit of what, you know, all of your success thus far. And then if you can head into, um, you know, all the events that you and your team have been doing, I would love that. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me on, Nicole. Such an honor. Um, and thank you, everyone, for being on. You guys are all freaking rock stars. I'm so excited. Um, so to tell you a little bit about myself, I came into the business July 22nd. Can't wait till my anniversary date. Um, I came in and started hitting Success Club right away, August. Hit Success Club 10 in August hit 20 in October, and then hit 10 the following month. I have missed Success Club 10 only one month, and that was my fault. I only hit six because you know what? I just came off a big high of hitting 20, and I wasn't working the business as much. Um, but ever since then, I have made sure to hit 10. I'm already at six right now, and today is, what, the eighth? Um, so this month, I'm shooting for 20. I have... Got my free ticket to Summit. I'm going to Summit. I can't wait. And I know I'm going to get a free um, ticket to Punta Cana. I'm going to get a, a free paid vacation for my family. So that's amazing. I came in under Monica. I've actually lost weight and posted my transformation, which was a huge hit. And I've been running a challenge group ever since I came into the business. But just to tell you a little bit about me. I have a lot going on. Um, I am a mom of two children. I have a seven-year-old and a 19-month-old. I am a full-time manager. I have a full staff that I employ. I also work Beachbody full-time. And I'm in college full-time, finishing my bachelor's. So if anybody can do this business, <laughs> if I can do it, anybody can do it. 
Um, so for me, I have no excuses. I have big dreams. I have big goals and there's nothing that's going to stop me. So that's just a little bit about myself. So I guess I'll talk about the live events now. So what happened was one of my coaches, Allison Morell, got emailed a um, invite to an event and she said, Hey, wouldn't this be an awesome thing for us to do for us to actually go and be a vendor at an event? I said, you know what? That would be awesome. Why don't we check it out? So I actually had Allison check out all the information. She's been our go-to for our vendor events. What I did was I tapped into the strengths of my teammates, of everyone that is on my team. I said, what are you good at? What can you do? And we all bring something different to the table. So for her, that's her strength. She organizes the events. She um, books them, and then we all chip in money-wise, though. So props to Allison. I know you're on the call. Thank you so much for always doing that. Um, first off, you do have to do your research. There are so many events out there. There are vendor fairs. There are so many. So how we found these were in um, Facebook groups. So there's different groups. I think there's Southern New England uh, vendor fairs. There's different craft events. There's also bridal, ex, bridal expos you can do, uh, job fairs, although I just got off with Gina, and I know she talked to you, Nicole, today about the job fairs. Apparently, you just have to be careful with certain job fairs because um, you have to do a 1099. Because we're 1099, I don't think that they allow it for some of the job fairs she was saying, so you just have to be careful with some of those, so you do have to do your research on that. Um, the job fairs can range, not the job fairs, sorry, the vendor fairs can range anywhere from $40 to $50. Some of the events can go higher. Um, for example, <clears throat> excuse me, bridal events can go higher. They can be anywhere up to $450, which is expensive, but you're investing in your business. And if you have a team of coaches that are going to help you, it's definitely worth it. I know that there is... Um, a chance to do sporting events, which is huge. I actually called uh, the Providence Bruins and spoke to the person who does sales and service. He said we could rent a booth for only two fifty, and you get in contact with over eight thousand people that come to the game. So even out of those eight thousand, say you know five hundred walk by your table and you get a chance to you know talk to them or pass them a card. That's huge. So for me, the reason we got into this was I felt like. I had already extended my Facebook, my social event, um, sorry, my social media. I've kind of already gone through all of those people, my family, my friends, and you, I just needed a different outlook or a different outlet or a different avenue. I know we have a few. Oh, Mark, I just lost connection. Yeah. One thing. Oh. What? Sorry, I like lost connection. Was that okay for everybody still? It was just, I was just gone? Okay, good. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, so, yes. So, with, you know, pick one thing and stick with it. So, this obviously is going to be all about the live events. So, first off, you really need to do your research. The biggest thing is finding out where they are, when they are, making sure that they fit into your schedule, making sure you can afford it, um, and making sure you have the products. That's huge. So in order to do a live event, you need to have a setup. You need to have products. You need to have, if you should have a banner. You should have a tablecloth. You can buy them. Um, you can buy them and get beach body put on, but also in the coach online office, there's banners, there's products, there's print materials you can get. So check out that. I know my dad was able to order a banner. He got, it was a Shakeology banner. So make sure that you have all the products because you don't want to show up and have nothing. You also want to make sure that you have your um, Shakeology. You also want to make sure that you have samples too in case somebody you're talking to really wants a sample. You can obviously give them that. Um, the other thing, too, is that you really just need to – hold on, I lost my train of thought, I apologize um, 
it is having what we did was we had all of the coaches invest certain amounts of money into the business. So some people got posters made up. Someone had the banner that we have in front of our table. I got different products. We all brought different products. Um, make sure that you also have a DVD playing of one of the programs. So bring a laptop. That was huge. We had size going, and at one point we had people dancing in front of our table, which I'm going to get to. Um, so you want to be personable. So obviously you want to make sure you have the products for the event, but you also have to, you know, the other side of it is being personable. So products, let me just kind of go through that again, because I know some people are writing down. You really want to discuss everything you could possibly need from tape to trash bags. There's so many things you're going to need. Cups for samples. The other thing too is when you're booking these vendor fears, you want to make sure that there's electricity, that you have access to an outlet. Sometimes we have to pay more to have access to an outlet. So that's huge. Um, you also want to make sure that they have Wi-Fi because I'm going to get to that. And you really, it, it's so important to have Wi-Fi so that way you can sign people up right on the spot. We've done that. Okay. So having the Shakeology samples, you can make energy bites with the Shakeology. Also, you can print recipes. So that way, anyone, if anyone has allergies, you can automatically say this includes, you know, these ingredients. So that way, you know. So that's huge. So products, obviously, you want to plan with your um, with your coaches. I call them my family because my dad's in my downline. <laughs> you want to make sure that you plan with everybody what each person is going to bring. So when you're doing these vendor fairs, it's so important to really tap into your coaches. I am so lucky to be able to have an awesome downline that wants to be active, that wants to participate. So involve them. I don't care if they're new or if they've been doing this for a while. It's great because we had a new coach that had signed on. She came a week later to an event, signed up a discount coach, and then a week later signed up another coach and became an Emerald because she felt confident enough at the fair, after she signed up that first discount coach, she was like on fire. She was super excited. So it's a great way to bond with your team, listen to what they're saying, and also they get to listen to you. I know my team has said to me, wow, it was really great being able to hear how you approach people, what you say, how you overcome objections, and they become more confident in what they're saying. So that's important because you're, you want to build leaders in your team. And you want them to be able to hear how you're projecting. So first things first, you need to sell yourself. People believe in you before they believe in the product. Every time people come up to me and they're like, you just have so much energy. You're so passionate. I can feel it. And they want to be a part of it. So you need to project that. You need to get them to believe in you. I don't care what you do. If you've lost five pounds or a hundred, you should be just as passionate. You should have your before and after pictures so they can see it because people want to see the proof in the pudding. They want to see that this works. They're going to ask you, what have you done? What works? What do you like? So that way you can really give them your feedback and really help, help tailor a program that's going to work from the, for them. So when you're there, it's so important to stand outside your table. There was another weight loss company two tables down from us. It was a husband and wife. They were sitting behind their table like this the whole time. They looked horrible. They weren't approachable. I, I thought that they were miserable. I didn't want to be any part of it. No one went up to their table. We had people dancing in front of ours. We were having a party. So what you bring is your energy and your passion, and people are going to flock to you. So that's huge. So don't sit behind your table if you're doing a vendor affair. Approach people and get them talking. I have some tips on how you can open up conversation. So when people are walking by, the easiest way to open up conversation is to ask them, have you ever heard of Shakeology? And if they say yes, say great. What are your thoughts about it? What do you like about it? What do you know? So that way they can't say no or yes. It's not a close-ended question. You're asking them what their thoughts are because it's going to segue into so many more 
options of being able to talk to them. If they say no, then what you can say is great. I have a chocolate or a vanilla. Which would you like to try? Right there. You're giving them two options. More than likely, they're going to pick one. They're not going to say no and walk away because that can happen. So you can use the witch clothes when you're talking to potential clients or potential coaches. <clears throat> excuse me, coaches. Which would you prefer? And you give them two options. I do this with my children all the time. It works. Do you want to wear this outfit or that outfit? Pick one versus them going to pick one out. You can use it with your spouse. It's a great closing technique, but it's also great when you're doing these uh, vendor fairs. We learn the hard way. Hold on one sec. We learn the hard way. We, the first vendor fair, we weren't asking for potential business partners and we weren't talking about the business opportunity. We were only talking about clients and the programs that we offered. So make sure that you approach every person as a potential coach. Every person could be a potential business partner. And by the second vendor fair, we really nailed it down and we were doing that. You also want to connect with them right away on social media. So what I would do is say, after I'm talking to them for a little bit, hey, are you on Facebook? And I would look them up. I'd have my phone right in my hand and look them up. Get them right on my Facebook. That way, even if they walk away and they don't buy, I still have a connection with them. That's huge. Because guess what? Now they're seeing my posts. They're in my network. And I'm going to be able to talk to them after and be able to follow up. So that was a big thing. Making sure that you have an iPad, a computer, a phone, so that way you can connect right then and there. But also we've signed people up right on the spot. Right on the spot. So that was huge. So having a Wi-Fi connection, again, is a big thing. Because you know if somebody walks away and says they're going to sign up, Sometimes it doesn't happen. So getting them to sign up right then and there is huge. Also, too, we did a drawing, and I raffled off a P90X that I got for being Success Club. I got all the P90Xs. So I said, you know what? We'll do a drawing, and I'll raffle a program off. That's a great way to get people. So on the raffle, I had them write their name, their phone number, their email. And after they walked away, we wrote on the back something about that person. So that way we could, could connect with them and say, hey, I remember we talked about this. I had a client who had a kidney issue. She needs a kidney replacement, a transplant. Like it's huge. She's been doing ideal protein for the past year and she's ready to start eating her own food. She finally is at a weight where she can actually be put on the donor list. Her brother had to lose weight so that way he could actually donate for her. So there, that's two connections right there. We offer them the ability to be able to eat regular food and still lose weight. We're helping save lives. It's, it's huge. So for me, I wrote down, she needs a kidney transplant. You know, write down a little tidbit of them so that way you can connect with them and they're like, wow, they remembered something about me. That's huge. Obviously, we talk about forming all the time. So this is a great way to be able to form with them if they do not join right then and there. If they do not have a Facebook, you can ask them, what's your favorite social media site? Maybe they have an Instagram. Maybe they have a Twitter. Maybe they have something else that you can tap into or even a, a, light, a LinkedIn. They could have so many different things and you could actually keep in contact with them. So it's just so important to just ask open-ended questions and not close-ended questions. Um, another big thing, too, is... Look at your vendors around you. I would say we've signed up about five or six vendors. So vendors could be potential business partners. They are there. They're busting their butt. They're there with us. They're entrepreneurs. They're running their own business. But they may not be happy. They may not be seeing the income that we're able to get at Beachbody. They may not have the same compensation plan. We see it all the time. People go back and forth between different <clears throat> MLMs. So they're huge. The other thing, too, is when I look at people who are doing vendor fairs, they're usually not eating pretty healthy. They're there all day from 8 to 4 o'clock. They're eating like crap. They're ordering out. They're not taking care of themselves. Every person that we met, what they barely ate all day. Or if they did, they pigged out. 
So their potential clients, that was a huge thing, was not only the people walking through, but all the other vendors there. Never mind that, you're making connections with people. You're building your social network. I meet Susie Q over here, Susie Q refers John M over there. It's just you're building your network, it's a big spider web. So look at every single person, that is huge. The other thing I, I can't express this enough is to be passionate. Be passionate about what you're doing. We get to help change people's lives and make money doing that. I don't know where else that you get to do this and work on your own time and make money. People have come up to me and said, thank you so much. Your passion radiates off of you. I can tell why you do this. I can tell you love it. I want to be a part of it. I want to join your team. If you believe in yourself, other people will believe in you. So believing in yourself is huge. Find your strengths. Even today, you know, I'm not really nervous about talking, but today I got nervous. I was talking to Gina beforehand, and I was nervous to come on this call and talk to you guys. But you know what? When Nicole asked me two weeks ago, I said, yes, absolutely, because I got to step out of my comfort zone. In order for me to grow as a business leader, I need to do things that make me feel uncomfortable. So you have to do that. So if you feel, I can't do live events, there's no way. Guess what? You can. Absolutely. You have to believe in yourself. You can do it. And there's no stopping you. Because if you really want to be successful in this business, then you have to do that. You have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to build your network. I want to say we've gone at least 20 people from our events. 20 people. I have over 100 clients right now. It's crazy. You know, I mean, for me, the sky's the limit. I will do another 100 events. I don't care. I will do whatever I need to do. And that's the attitude you have to have. I will tell you this. You have to make sacrifices in, in this business. I've sacrificed a lot of time with my family. I've sacrificed money. For me, my goal when I came into this business was to put into this business what I basically got. So whatever money I was making, I was putting back whether it was for my challengers, whether it was um, into the live events or my coaches, I've been putting that money back into my business because I know that I have to do that in order to build it. So you can't be scared to sacrifice. Um, you know, the time with my family that I've sacrificed on Saturdays and Sundays being at the, these events, I've worked seven days straight since I came into this business, but I know the payoff will be so worth it. I know the payoff will be worth it. I know that the sky's the limit. Um, and also, too, it's just all in your head. I came into this business knowing I would be successful. I thought, I'm a badass. If I think I'm a badass, therefore, I am a badass. So your thoughts are what are either going to push you forward, or they're gonna, and they're going to make their, your dreams happen, or they're going to hold, hold you back. So you need to ask yourself, are you a badass? That's it. That's all you have to do. Just ask yourself, are you a badass? Because I know each and every one of you are. And that's the type of mind frame you have to be in to make sure you push yourself forward. And that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope I covered everything. I think you did. Lots of good tips there. I, um, it's, it is important to have the electrical, very, very, very true for sure. Um, would you say that, so you said you got about 20 people, you sign, you do sign some people on the spot and then you do connect with people on Facebook. So would you say the goal of these events is a name collecting event, like building your contact list? Like that's the, that's the outcome of these events, right? Does that make yeah. sense? That's what I forgot too was the follow-up. Um, the follow-up is the, that is the pudding. I'm telling you right now, because if you don't follow up with these people, you can easily lose them. I had a client, um, well, she's a client now, but I had to follow up with her. It's been two months straight. She was pretty much ignored me. I think I sent four messages that I was talking to myself. And then finally, like I posted something on Facebook, she liked it. I sent her a message, got her engaged right away. 
you have to follow up. So I follow up through email, I follow up through phone, and I follow up through Facebook Messenger if they're mm -hmm. on Facebook. I do find the most success if they are on Facebook, um, so I always try to find them right away. But yes, my goal is to sign up clients, sign up coaches, and then also to, when I follow up, build my network. So for example, I met someone who was a past Beachbody coach. She's now in a different company. She said, well, I still have people that want to buy stuff from me. I'm going to refer them to you because I no longer do it. So right then and there, I met like a whole nother network of people who don't have a coach anymore, really. Um, so I mean, there's just so many different avenues that you can go. For me, it's all about expanding my network. I, I used to do a lot of these in the beginning too. And um, I, I loved how you said you got to stand out in front of your table. Yep. Very, very true. Very true. I, same thing. We were always had a big smile on our face. We, you know, had our wear and share on and stood in front of the table, just inviting people over. If you're behind the table, they're just going to keep walking. So you have to be out front. So super important. What do you guys have for questions? You can unmute yourself and ask a question. I have a question. Yes. It's Lindsay. Lindsay, hello. Um, awesome talk so far. Thank you for all of your insight. I just wanted to ask, it's, I mean, I don't know how many coaches on the spot, but how many, like, what do you say if somebody asks you how you get paid or how is, how does compensation work? Yep. Um, you know, people usually, we tell them we work on a commission basis and we also can make bonuses when we sign up other coaches. We make it very short in general. Um, we signed out, signed up a discount coach on the spot, but I've never, I haven't signed up a business partner on the spot. So for me, if they wanted to talk about that, I would take them aside and really go into it with them. Um, because you do have privacy there. So I would, I would sit down and talk to them like I would to anybody else. I, I want to say I have 30 coaches under me between three accounts that I run. So, I mean, I have about 30 coaches. So for me, it's, it's not, it's really easy to explain this business. Um, and it's, it's simple. Okay. okay. I think that would be what I would struggle with if I did yeah. with some potential coaches, but I mean, got to start somewhere. So. Exactly. And if they say, you know, I want more information, like Nicole's running the sneak peek. I have people who maybe were afraid to, people are afraid that they're going to fail. People are afraid that they're not going to be good enough at it. Um, so I threw three coaches this morning into her sneak peek that I know are going to be amazing coaches, but they just need to believe in themselves. So it's more or less you being able to sell it. And for me, I find it easy. And I know that if you're trainable, I can help you be an amazing coach. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I think less is more when people ask about the business for sure. You just kind of want to, you know, I always just kind of same thing. I just tell them the commission and then I always just say, you know, what kind of, what more do you want to hear? And I, I always, send people to the 20 minute call too. I always say I'm open to listening to the, the to a 20 minute phone call. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank good. you. Good, good, good. Anybody else? These are, these are really, really good ways to just build that contact list and get in front of people and practice. This is a great way to practice too, because you're, Someone's coming up to you and asking you questions, so you have to, you have to talk to them. And I love, I used to just have like a P90X playing in the background, so I love that you have size now. I never even thought of that. But you so can, fun. Everybody yeah. loves it. We had, I think it was like three or four people dancing in front of our table um, at one of our events, and I got up and I started dancing with them. But I mean, your energy is contagious. And you set the tone. And the fact that we've been able to, I mean, we've had four coaches at one event. Sometimes we have two. The more coaches you can get, the better because you bond as a team, but you also learn from each other. You learn, okay, this works well for them. This doesn't work. Um, it's just such an amazing experience. If you can even do one, I suggest it. I, I think we can take that attitude and that tip to your social media too. 
be passionate, be likable, be approachable, stand in front of your table, like take all of that to your social media too. I, you know, there's sometimes I scroll through Facebook and I see coaches and I'm like, Ugh, like feeling annoyed, feeling frustrated. Grr, I hate my life. I'm like, nobody's going to want to join you. Stop. Like, stop. You have, and I know that things aren't always super happy and you can totally be honest, but the majority of your Facebook page should be happy and approachable and likable. And you just, just take that, all of those tips right to your, right to your social media. Your profile picture should be you and it should be a smile. It should be inviting. You know, it should be good to look at, you know, if you really want to, you really want to, you want someone to come to your Facebook page and know who you are like that. I asked that question last week in the page and a lot of you went to your Facebook page and was like, Oh crap, I'm not actually conveying that. So it's really important. If, if I were to go to your Facebook page right now, would I know you're a beach body coach? Would I want to work with you from your last five posts? Are they, is it positive? Would, would I know that you are a mom or a dad or, you know, would I know that you have dogs, would I know that you have kids? What would I know? Would I know all of those things about you if I went to your Facebook page and looked at your uh, looked at what you posted through the weekend? So make sure you're assessing that page. I put a post up today and um, it was it was salesy and I let it sit for 20 minutes and it got no likes and I was like that was so stupid. That's not, that was like a rookie move and I just deleted it. Like I deleted it because I was like, what was I, it was like, there was no thought in it. Like I was just sitting there staring <laughs> like it was, and I, and I just, and I removed it. So I still make those mistakes. It was, it was so silly. So just, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. passion is key. Yeah. I mean, I've met so many coaches and it's just amazing. Like Nicole, you were so passionate about it. And when I met you, I was like, I want to be like her. I'm going to be her. I'm going to hit the millionaires club. It's happening. And you know, I mean, you want your team to feel that they are looking up to you. And that's huge. I want my team to look at me. I know that there's like four of them on the call, I think right now. And I want them to look at me and be like, she's a badass. I can be a badass. I can do it. Um, so, I mean, your mindset is huge and that's, what's going to really catapult you forward in this business. So true. Anything else before we finish up? Yeah, Nicole, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, this is Greg Moss. I'm with, uh, Sarah Cohen's team. Hello, Greg. Welcome. Hi. Um, you're talking about passion and trying to build uh, rapport with people. Um, I'm new to this business. I signed my first coach the other night. Woo! Um, I really talked the business up and I'm getting a lot of, oh, here comes another pyramid scheme. And that just totally just stops me in my tracks. I don't know where to go from there. I always say, what's a pyramid scheme? Like, so dumb. <laughs> like, I, I know, I know. Yeah. I, cause I, I'm like, what? What? I don't know what that is. What is that? And then they can't answer you. Like you will stump them. They'll be like, I don't know. You know, one of those things. It's like shaped like a pyramid. Like they won't even know. What to say. <laughs> they they honestly won't even know what to say. So I would I would try that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Cause they won't. They they'll be like, you know, one of those things. They they seriously won't. Yeah. Right. I've said, you know, pyramid schemes are illegal, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I said that and I said, do you know what multi-level marketing is? That's another great way to segue to. I, I do talk about the multi-level marketing and stuff, but yeah, they just, they, they hit me with that. So you're giving me some good ideas on how to deflect that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Can I add something to that? Yes, Holly. It drives me so, it drives me crazy because yeah, they are asking that, but yet they don't even know what it is. But a true pyramid scheme, no goods or services are exchanged. Yes. Yep. And that's so you're providing a service yeah. and Beachbody's providing a product. So I don't know if that helps at all either, but yeah. yeah. A true pyramid scheme, you're putting money in with nothing and for nothing. Yep. Yeah. So. Okay, good, awesome. Yeah, and that's another reason why Beachbody leads with let's get everybody in as customers first 
have had them fall in love with the product and then become coaches because they want they want more customers coming in so that they avoid that whole like just try to sign coaches so that everyone can make money like they don't want that um, that out there so it's important for you to follow that that flow of you know you can sign coaches right off the bat for sure and you can sign discount coaches I'm not saying not to do that but that's a, a big part of the what Beachbody wants us to do of course they want you know when I signed up as a coach I signed up as a coach for the business but I also signed up for the product like I needed to do both mm -hmm. right away which is a lot of people so um, yeah we lead with our products it's our it's what we it's how the company started so there's no way that <laughs> it would go any other way I did get another question from Stephanie Mazza I believe she's on the call she wanted to know if there was a way to find out if other Beachbody vendors are going to be there and yes there is so what you would do is you would ask Allison um, handles this she usually asks if there are other beach body usually there's a lot of other weight loss companies but they can only have one beach body company you can only have one doing a vendor affair um, she reached out to one today who was actually a beach body coach herself running the fair so <laughs> that was out of the question um, but yes you want to find that out they're gonna ask you when you talk to the lead person what uh, company are you representing anyway and they would tell you so to answer Stephanie's question Yep. And the good thing is as as soon as you get on these lists too, every time this particular person does an event, you're going to be the first person they think about. Yeah. So it's, I still get emails. I don't do them anymore, but I still get emails. Um, there's a lot of mom's night out events at like malls and stuff. And, um, you know, so definitely do that. And then in the summertime around here, there are, um, like the Marshfield Fair, you can get a booth there, um, you know, different different things like that. So um, just make sure that, just know that this is going to lead to more. You're going to be on the list now and you'll always be thought of. So it's really good. Yes. As long as you do a good job and smile and be passionate. <laughs> Anything else? All right. Well, great, great call, Sonia. Thank you so much. And for all of you that are local this week, we have another amazing training coming up and possibly we will be able to stream it. I'm not going to make any promises and put any pressure on Mr. Jones, but I think he has something up his sleeve. Um, so again, thank you. Thank you, Sonia. So great. And um, we look forward to seeing everyone this week or next week. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Good night. Thanks.